Hey YouTube, today I just acquired a new device. It is the Airport Express with AirTunes for Mac and PC. This is a great device, but I'm not really using it for its intended purpose. What I'm really using it for is as a wireless bridge with my Airport Extreme using the wireless distribution system. The wireless distribution system is like a really high end feature that you'll find on $600 routers and airport routers, so a great router I'm loving it um so I'm gonna show you how I configured this and I'm also gonna show you another catch oh excuse me for one minute um, oh, I'll take it later so basically I have the um, airport router over here and here's the Ethernet cord leaving it went because I'm using it as a wireless bridge and here's the printer because I'm using it as a print server as well. Um, you can't really see it that well, can you? Well, there it is right there. Sorry about the lighting. Um, and I'm not really using it for the air tunes, but eventually I'm hoping to, because I want to be able to use it as the primary speakers for my MacBook. That way, like, I can have my surround sound in here, but have my MacBook. So there's some third-party software that will allow me to do that, and I'll do another video on that later. Okay, so how do I get up? So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I can be. Oh, the catch is I have the Ethernet cord plugged in to this Netgear router. Well, why am I doing that? Because I want to be able to plug in four Ethernet devices to it. So I'm going to show you how to configure the Netgear router to do that as well. Because I basically disabled the DHCP server on it to make it act as a switch. But we'll get there in a minute. So the first thing we need I did was I opened up Airport Utility on my Mac. So I'm just going to go to Spotlight and do that. So let me zoom in for you. Oop, D, Airport Utility. And it's going to find my base stations. So here's my primary base station, my Airport Extreme, and here's the one I just bought. So I'm going to click this, and it's pretty simple. I won't go through the entire installation process, um, because I've already done it. So basically, it asks you if you want to create a new network or connect to your current networks. And you pretty much just answer the questions. But the tricky question is, oh, excuse me. Uh, the tricky question is that this one right here. Join my wireless network or extend the range of my Airport Extreme. Um, this really depends. If you want to use the AirTunes feature, I still I would suggest using Join, but if not, I would suggest using Extend. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and quit out of here, and because that's pretty straightforward, Airport Utility is extremely easy to use in my opinion. If you have problems, then I'll help you out. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Safari, and I'm going to log into the Netgear router. And that Netgear router's IP address is 192.168.1.1. No, 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 no. Haha. I can't do it on this PC because the Netgear router can't be configured wirelessly. <coughs> it has to be done by wired. So I'll do it over here because this computer is plugged into it wiredly. Oh, my cords get all tangled up and stuff. Go ahead and zoom in. And wrong keyboard. I hardly ever use this computer. So the IP address is default is 192.168.1.1. So go ahead and enter that. If it's you have the default settings. Okay. So I'm logged in. So the first thing you want to do is enable the security on here. So go to wireless settings. And name your network. And give it WPA PSK. I'll take that later. WPA PSK and give it your passphrase. Now we need to go down to LAN IP setup. There it is right there. Sorry, I'm trying to get it so you can see it. And because the airport's 
for the IP address, you want to give it 10.0.1.23 because the airport's IP address by default is 10.0.1.1, so go ahead and give it that one. I don't know, I just chose 23 because it's easier to remember. And you also want to disable the use router as DHCP server. So go ahead and do that and click apply and it will update it. And then if all went well, you should be able to visit any website. So as you can see, YouTube loaded just fine. So if you follow the steps, you will be able to use your Airport Express as a wireless bridge along with a wireless switch by using another router. Now this router was the old router that the um, other router replaced, the Airport Extreme replaced. So I'm doing this because I plug in this PC because it doesn't have a wireless cord and then I also have a few other devices that I plug into it, like my Xbox when I'm playing here. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Uh, thanks again.